you can train your pacey horse to gait. Many of us have pacey horses and they're no fun to ride. This is a spotted saddle horse named Max. He was very pacey when he came. After just four weeks of training, here is his very smooth gait. With a snaffle bit on a loose rein. Some horses I get take only a couple weeks to get a really nice gait. This horse was a little different as he was so pacey. It took a little longer before he would gait this well on the road like this. We use the poles just like I teach, teaching them to drop their head and go over the poles to break up the pace. I want to show you a little bit of the steps I took, but I also want you to understand some horses are harder than others. Some may take longer like this horse. So don't get discouraged if it takes more than a couple weeks. So here is early training. Here's him pacing. You can see his head isn't that high. He's actually almost lifting the base of his neck. He's being ridden in an O-ring snaffle. Very pacey, very bouncy, not very smooth at all. Here you're going to see I begin his work. We have a nice slow walk and yes I do pick up the rope that's dragging. And as I get to the poles I ask him to go faster and I'll show you in slow motion but he's doing a stepping pace and a pace and really not changing his gait very much. I notice the footfalls, notice the back foot lands but just before the front which makes it not a dead pace but a stepping pace but not very smooth. You should expect your horse to do this for two to four weeks or some horses will change in a day but again there it is almost a dead pace even though we go over the poles. Slow down do it again. I just want you to see this is the process I did with this horse for about four weeks. Continue to go over the poles to get him where he would be consistently going into a gate before I actually took him on the road and began asking for the gate where it was flat. Once on the road I begin fine-tuning the gate so as you listen, he'll do a really nice gait, but you'll see me use my reins as he goes a little pacey right here to smooth him out again. As long as they hold it, I give him the loose rein. And for the video purposes, I turned him around and come the up again. Notice the back foot lands and then the front with good separation. a nice pucka 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 sound as he goes forward. You're going to see him get a little trotty here, I think. Yep. He starts getting a little trotty and I lift his, the reins up a little bit to ask him to lift his head and he smooths right out. Let's watch some in slow motion. Okay. Here we see it in slow motion. Notice the back foot on the same side. Back, front, back, front, and you can watch all four and there's a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four timing that tells you it's even. And when it's even, that's when we have a good smooth gait. Notice the low head carriage as he stays nice and relaxed. Here is just a slightly different perspective. Here you can see it in slow motion. Notice the low head carriage, the nice one, two, three, four beat gait. This is what a good gating horse should look like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you and encouraged you. Remember, don't get too discouraged if your horse takes a while. Keep working at it. Feel free to go to my website, sign up for my free gated training videos, and take a look at my two new gated training DVDs. Thanks. Have a great ride.